I have a sickness. In Minecraft, any time I come across a stray cat, I just have to adopt it, tame it, and bring it back to my base. Uh, and that means over the course of two years, my base is absolutely cluttered with cats that I have absolutely no plan for. Or at least, I had no plan for them until Zombie Cleo uploaded their fairly recent video uh, where they built a kitty cafe. And I thought, that is a brilliant idea. I can, I have the Indie Pets mod, so once I've made it so that they can't just wander out of the cafe, they can just wander and be free and play, I'll help like play structures and stuff, uh, and I'll be able to go visit them whenever I want. It'll be amazing. So I decided I'm gonna build this cafe. And as I was gathering the materials for it, I was wandering through a village when I heard a zombie villager sound. Uh, which is strange because the area was spawn-proofed. Uh, turns out the, the, the zombie villager had spawned in an attic. And when I went up and cured the zombie villager, who happened to be up there with them, but this sweet little ginger cat, who of course I had to tame, bring back home, and who I named Cleo, for obvious reasons. With all of that fortuitousness, it just seemed like fate, and I knew what I wanted to theme and name my cafe. So, what you're seeing behind you is Le Chat Mort Vivant, which, pardon my horrible French, I believe translates to the undead cat, or the zombie cat. So, here I'm just setting Cleo up down here to uh, not be independent, not following me, while I build the central piece of of this establishment, which is a bust of Zombie Cleo. And by the way, I'm not gonna leave all this grass and uh, stone exposed down there. I'll show you what the end product looks like, but I wanted to build this bust first because the idea is that inside of this bust of Cleo is going to be uh, a kitty gymnasium, like a, a parkour thing that they can climb. I'm not sure if they will climb it, but we'll see. Uh, so anyway, here I am building uh, a, a bust of Cleo. I thought of a different, a few different avenues I could take in this design. I could model it after their uh, YouTube slash Twitter profile picture. I could use their VTuber avatar. But then I thought I really actually wanted to do their iconic skin. That's what felt most zombie Cleo to me. So I'm putting in their green eyes and their face and uh, I, what I did was I downloaded the skin, loaded it in Blockbench, and then did everything pixel for pixel myself. I didn't use a conversion program or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, I added some, uh, uh, I added uh, a little bit of texturing, brought the hair layers out, um, and then while I was working on it, who should pop in but another stray cat? And I thought, oh my god, I gotta tame it! It's a wall I'm building, it's like fate! Uh, and as I said, as I said, I have a sickness. So I stopped what I was doing, grabbed some fish, and went to tame this cat. Except for that short amount of time I, I flew down from the top of Cleo's head, the cat had gone. I was like, where could it possibly have gone? Too bad I don't have free cam or anything like that. Uh, so I had no idea that the cat had somehow walked around the back of Cleo's bust and completely evaded me. So I ended up giving up. I, I went to the uh, back to my building height and looked around, and I turned my head just a few degrees. I would have seen that cat again, but oh well. Anyway, uh, something that I found really interesting when I was doing research for this project is uh, that Cleo themselves were very surprised that the fan on the fan community had decided that they had green skin, because in Cleo's mind. Zombies have gray skin, not green skin. Now, they have embraced it and adopted it, uh, but I decided, I, especially considering I was using their um, their uh, actual Minecraft skin as a, as a base, I would go ahead and focus on those grayer elements. Um, with the exception, and this is artistic license, of the Prismarine, because not only did it have that kind of bluish, greenish, component, but also had that kind of cracked, modeled element that I just thought really sold the zombiness. But I only put it in certain places and kind of further down and kind of made sure to keep uh, Zombie Cleo's face intact. Um, so I, I hope you like it. If it's completely off color-wise, please tell me. 
I uh, am a mild duder, which means I have a little bit of red-green color blindness. Like, I can see most colors, but just not as vividly as most people. Uh, so, um, if, like, everything's off, just let me know. Um, but, yeah, so this is kind of the... That, what you saw was the bare interior of what's going to be the cafe. Um, I'm not sure about other countries, but in the U.S., uh, you basically can't have a cafe where you... Uh, sell food and drinks and then you also have animals on the premises. So how they work in the US is that you have a cafe in front and then the kitty area in the back. Oh yeah, speaking of kitty area, the one modification I did make to Cleo's skin was I had to add cat ears. I, I hope this isn't offensive to anyone. This was just fun on my part. Um, so uh, ignore the phantoms. Uh, Anyway, I decided that these ears were too small, so I'm taking them down, and I'm really glad that I was right next to my wolf arm because when I needed to get more uh, materials. Uh, if you if you build with Lego, you might recognize that's a, a, a scale replica of the uh, the Lego wolf arm set, um, which, by the way, I own in Lego and also made it into a uh, quote-unquote wolf arm in that there is uh, quote-unquote shulker boxes in the back, but that's a video for another time. Anyway, here are the ears. I wanted to make them a little bit asymmetric, and I just thought it was cute and uh, kind of clever. Um, but anyway, this is the final result, and this is what their face looks like. Uh, and yeah, and as I'm putting all this away, chance for redemption. Another cat appears. Um, so... I'm, I'm chasing after it. I completely forgot, by the way, that I had this phantom head on. I'm, uh, I, I know that uh, Minecraft AIs don't work like this, but if this were real life, I'm sure that cat would have been absolutely terrified. Like, what's this scary creature doing following me? And I, I had to chase this kitty to the absolute ends of the earth. Or my my, uh, my mega base. I don't know if you can call it a mega base. I, I just basically made it a town. Um, but this is this is where I live. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll show it off in later videos. But yeah, I got close and I finally tamed it, and I was so happy. So the taking it back through the world, uh, that that whole uh, under underground cavern uh, uh, is going to be another project for a later date. But I am just not I'm not there yet in having the stones to build it. So past the wool farming, because you know food and beverages past this point. This is where the cats will live, and down here it's going to be completely redone. But I decided to name that cat Wanda. Get it? Because it went for a Wanda. And once I was done uh, building Cleo, it was time to move all my cats. So, God, I've collected so many. And this isn't even all of them, because there's some that I already have wandering through other areas. I have a... Um, I just have other areas where the cats are there, telling kind of story elements. Uh, but these are the cats that were in my starter house slash uh, storage area. Uh, that's where I keep all of my materials that don't go in my, to my bulk storage. I'll show it at some point. And I just set them all to following me. Uh, because, again, Indie Pets mod, move them all here, then set them to be independent. And as you can see, they're all teleporting in. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, maybe I should have finished the interior before I did this. Uh, it was, they kept on getting in the way while I was putting up the last of the structures. But it's okay. It was, it was fun, honestly. Uh, it felt very true to life. Although I don't actually have any cats in life. Um, one of my parents was allergic, or said they were allergic to animals as a kid. And then as an adult, uh, I just haven't had the... Um, I just haven't had been able to get the consensus of the other people living in the same house as me to uh, adopt a little feline. But hey, one day, one day. So, um, Cleo, uh, I I doubt you will ever watch this, but if you do, I hope you enjoyed this and you're not offended at all by the cat ears. Um, but uh, yeah, this is kind of what the exterior of the structure looks like, uh, at least at this juncture. So it's been a few days, uh, and I have mostly finished up the cat cafe. Here, let, let me let me land quickly. Let's hopefully not die. Uh, careful. No. Uh, okay. Yes. So uh, I've put up some signs. The shot more vivant. Uh, I experimented with a few different techniques uh, for this signage, uh, trying to like make it in block letters, but it, it needed to be small. Uh, 
you know, for because the cafe is kind of small. So that's what I went with. Uh, and yeah, let's go. Let's go inside now. Um, it's, it's freaking cold. Uh, so cat cafe. I've got a cat manning the thing. That's considered like a villager or a pillager. I've actually got a pillager up at the coffee shop up the way. Uh, but let me. It's, we're inside now. Don't have to be in my armor. Um, but yeah, the idea is you just quote unquote buy food here. If I were coming, just grab it out of the chest. It's single player world. What am I going to pay myself? Uh, and then you eat your food at the tables. Nom nom nom. Yay, tasty tasty. And then when you're done, you go. And, uh, oh, no food and drink. So let me let me pretend I don't have these carrots. You didn't see a thing. It's fine. And oops, no. Oh, I need to lock that sign. Oops. Uh, and here I am. So. I considered the sorts of amenities to have both for people and animals. So for people, I've got these comfortable uh, sofas to sit in and, you know, read a book and stuff. Oh, and I've got a jukebox. Yes, uh, it's a little bit randomized. I actually have to work on the randomizer because uh, it can play the same song twice. Oh, nice! Look what, it, look what it's selected. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... Um, yeah, you can just boogie to the music, it's, uh, or just sit, and um, there are definitely cats wandering around. Yeah, there's, uh, who's this? Kathleen, up here. Uh, and then, a bunch of cats by the door. I'm not sure why they keep on trying to go out here. It's not like along a chunk order or anything. Uh, but the primary thing that I have for the cats on this floor is an aquarium. I mean, come on, that's like, that's like uh, you know, kitty HBO, right? Um, Rip HBO. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, we got a bunch of fish in here, including a uh, puffer fish. Don't worry, the puffer fish uh, will pop, puff, but it, it won't. It's the double walled glass. I'm mean, not double walled glass. The full block glass means it's not going to hurt anyone. It did get me once up here, but the cats can't get up here as far as I can tell. Plus, I've made backup, so I, I don't. I don't think anything bad is going to happen. But yeah, down here is the main attraction. You've got scratching posts. Uh, you've got a nice place where humans can sit and just relax and vibe. Um, uh, not sure why Cleo said. Did I, did I have you sit? Why did I do that? Okay, yeah, you can get up. Uh, and, um, I have beds facing this way and, uh, this way because I wasn't sure which end, which way they need to be facing in order for cats to climb on them. It might be that they won't do it on either uh, if it's not completely exposed, but what no, the cats definitely are climbing on is the chests. There's nothing in those chests, I just know from experience how much, uh, cats like climbing on those chests. And beyond that, I've got a, li a few little jungle gyms, which the cats absolutely do not use. Um, but what I have seen them use from time to time is this parkour. Now, I haven't seen them gone up past the second block, but there's nothing that should be keeping them from keeping going up and up and up. And in, or, that we're just inside Cleo's head. And hey, there's Cleo's uh, face staring back at us. Oh, um, so uh, something I should have mentioned. Uh, yeah, those are those are ears. Um, so her, Cleo's skin definitely uh, has ears, even though I added ears to the top. So do, do cat boys and cat girls just have four ears do they not have the ears there i i'm i'm not i'm not immersed in the, the the that culture so i just i really don't know if someone wants to tell me uh and let me know like i can i can modify the design it's not not a, really a problem um but yeah okay oh ouch oh yeah and then on the bottom here uh, i just have a bunch of like balls and things to play with balls of yarn things like that so i think the cats are happy um, they're, they're definitely causing a bit of entity lag, uh, not, not gonna lie, but my, uh, my TPS is fine, it's just, like, my FPS isn't great. Uh, what am I getting? Um, oh, 33 FPS, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, if, I hope that, uh, y'all enjoyed this time lapse -y, build -y, tour -y video. Um, I, I, I really just made this because I, I just wanted to share how inspired I was by Cleo and, um, how I'm actively using it to make my Minecraft world a better place. So, um, yeah, that's a, a high beef. Um, just let's not pretend we didn't see him. So, uh, yeah, if anyone has any suggestions or things like that, feel free to tell me. Uh, and beyond that, I, you know, I got, I got stuff to do. So, uh, bye. Yeah, no, seriously, go. Bye now. Bye. Bye.